confirmation of the diagnosis is made by using the three uh, the sagittal view of the aortic arch and you see the narrowing there that is very highly suggestive of coarctation of aorta the last picture is a rendered picture is showing uh, the 3d picture you see the both the aortic arch and the ductal arch the ductal arch is the one which is marked as d just below it also emphasizes the fact that in the fetus since the ductus arteriosus is open coarctation will never ever manifest it will only manifest after the baby is born when the ductus arteriosus is closed so then it will be a severe obstruction to the aortic flow so coarctation is one of the most typical diagnoses in the fetus and uh, the screening is by the four chamber and three vessel which shows smaller left heart structures three vessel tracheal view with the isthmus and isthmus deck ratio gives us a solid clue and if the isthmus becomes smaller and smaller with the shelf which i showed in the sagittal view it becomes a sort of confirmatory diagnosis there is the elder brother of uh, aortic coarctation and that is called the that's called the uh, indirected aortic arch here you see that aorta doesn't even continue down. it's just the pa and the ductal arch which is continuing down and the uh, aorta the ascending aorta just continues into the head and neck as the nominate artery and when we look at the sagittal view you see the interruption there complete interruption there it's a very nice 3d rendered picture you see the ascending aorta is completely stopping after the nominate artery you can see the nominate artery ia and then there is the aorta is totally uh, is cut off the descending aorta is supplied by the ductus arteriosus which is by d this is a very 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 good useful picture which shows uh, the anatomy with so much clarity this is a 3d rendered picture and this is actually published in circulation as an image the usefulness of 3d uh, tech, uh, for and uh, the diagnosis of interrupted aortic arch so this is a severe condition but it is a totally correctable condition so it's important to this baby in fact was delivered in our center and operated and now is about 4 years old doing really well so it's an important diagnosis not to be missed so in coarctation you find that the aorta is small with an isthmus shelf while an interruption classical feature is this reverse flow you see the red flow on the aortic side that is because the aorta is completely not extending down it's reverse retrograde flow through the ductus arteriosus the second picture is very critical because it suggests that the baby is going to be born with a severe critical circulation after birth then we have this entity called right aortic arch so this to compare the two pictures s is superior vena cava a is aorta and p is the pulmonary artery in this picture you find that there is an increased gap between the aorta and pulmonary artery which is shown in these pictures as well that is because normally the aorta moves rightward uh, towards the leftward towards the pa in the left arch but the right arch it stays on the right side so there is an increased gap between the aorta pa and aorta in the three vessel view so very very useful clue for the right aortic arch this is a normal left arch we see the classical v shape but here you see a classical u shape that is the right aortic arch with the left side ductus it becomes more obvious with the color flow so this is a normal left arch the pulmonary artery and the aorta join as a v shaped structure onto the left side of the spine while in the right aortic arch classically the the aorta stays on the right side and you get a classical u shaped sign that is the, the right arch with the left side ductus now this is generally a very very uh, benign condition right arch with the left side ductus rarely if there is an aberrant branching pattern it may cause a vascular ring and the second importance is that it has a small association with the uh, 22q deletion syndrome or di george syndrome so some people recommend uh, genetic testing for these conditions now this is another example looked very similar to the right arch from these pictures but when we moved toward the 3 vt view we started seeing more and more pictures like finally we saw this picture this is uh, like a far more a bit more complex so let us see the 3d rendering of this so these are the 3d rendered pictures so here you have a lambda sign the aortic arch which is a divides into a smaller left arch which is shown by the letter l and the larger right arch is shown by the letter r these two arches form a complete ring around the trachea which is shown by the letter t the ductus arteriosus also is there that completes the lambda 
that is D. So this is a complete vascular ring, and the trachea will be in the center, and typically it causes tracheal compression. So this baby is likely to be born with strider. So the distinguishing feature between a right arch and a double arch is that in the double arch, the ascending aorta divides into a smaller left arch and a larger right arch. While in simple right arch, the ascending aorta just continues as the arch on the right side. That's all. There is no bifurcation of the aorta into the two branches. So this is a situation where 3D, 4D rendering is really, really helpful. And uh, sometimes it gives us very confirmatory pictures.